Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Ecliptic Spiritualist channel. I'm Ranita and welcome to this new moon in Aries ritual for this April 2022. The name of this uh, new moon ritual is healing the soul energy. It's your own DIY. It's quick and simple, easy to do with yourself or bringing in others or you can do it as a practitioner for someone else okay so make sure that you check out the video that is already up that is the new moon in aries april the first healing inner healing of the soul energy three things you need to know okay that video was up and so let's begin now please make sure that you like share and subscribe the videos here on youtube those that are those are on ig wherever your social platforms that you will see us make sure that you do that so that we go into your algorithm and you can see us okay so and also a plugger join our website okay at https double colon slash last clip experience of the seven dot com along with joining our alta visual with this new moon in aries is per intention pro candle for eight dollars and 88 cents okay and we're working our in unity altar available for this very special astrological new year of 2022 and what this new moon brings for us as uh, spiritual beings and following the moon and how precious the moon is for us in our own growth, okay? So the focus of this ritual can be whatever you like, okay? It, but it is best to choose something for you or a loved one. Uh, your intentions might be, you know, I'm brave enough to ask for maybe a raise or something in your job or your career or your body is completely healthy and whole whatever that may be for you whatever your intention need, focus needs to be with this okay so the new moon new attention time you'll be turning inward you know working within as things dim is to work in and this is known as the breath of fire this will recharge you in your entire body with this new moon, Aries, fire energy, bringing a new life to your cells and amplifying your intentions as well. Because it's all about healing the soul, healing energy. There's so much healing vibration coming in with this new moon, along with setting your intentions as I gave a guide to do with the video that's already up. Okay, so look for results when you're doing this within about two weeks at the full moon coming in and where you will do an embodiment of joy and seeing your manifestations come to fruition or a continual working on that, which often brings new moon intentions to fruition with the full moon. So you wanna make sure that you are in reasonable good health before attempting this as the breathing can be intense. So you wanna be breathing in and out. Make sure that you're using full breaths from your diaphragm all the way up and then inhaling, exhaling, okay? Because you may feel a little lightheaded, so you want to stop and rest when you're doing breathing, okay? So what you want to do is take good care of your optimal health, okay, in service of getting it in. So you want to be taking some downtime, maybe 15 minutes of getting into meditation time, doing deep breathing, doing some stretches before you do this, okay? So you will need a quiet place. Um, you wanna have your intentions available. One red candle, whatever of your choice. I have a red chime candle here. You can use a tea light candle, whatever you have. The red candle is a representation of Aries. That's the color for Aries energy. Um, you also want to make sure that you have a smudge stick available, which can be sage or palo santo. You know, I have mine as a um, as an example here. You want to make sure you have a shell or a bowl. I have an abalone shell, um, and you want to make sure that you have matches as well. You want to make sure during this time that you have a journal available. This is my personal journal, so you want to make sure you have that along with having a black ink pen. I tend to use a Sharpie because it's just more permanent. That's my choice, but I do use black. You make sure that you are using a black ink pen. And if you got it to use another color, 
then so be it, do that. So what you wanna do is take some time, sit with yourself, take some deep breaths, okay? Deep breaths and, and light your candle and focus. And then during that time, you wanna make sure that you are asking to recharge your body, okay? You wanna ask to be recharged as you're breathing, you set the intention inside yourself, I am recharging my cells, I'm recharging all of my organs, I'm recharging my whole uh, inside organs. And also you take your breaths and you say, you're telling yourself, I'm recharging my outer body as well. Inner body and outer body. You can touch where you feel your body needing more focus for rejuvenation. Only you know that where there's areas in your body that needs to be rejuvenated and being healed. So you want to touch yourself in those areas that you know that is a focus or you do it for someone else. Okay. A loved one that's present or you use yourself as a conduit for another person and become that person. Say I'm whomever and touch that your parts of your body to heal them. Okay, so in saying that, I love you for watching today. This is a beautiful healing of the soul ritual DIY that you can do. Um, take time during this new moon. Uh, you have 72 hours to do it within that frame. Uh, this is also something that you will see long down, down the road throughout the spring equinox season that you will see yourself being rejuvenated and being uh, revived and going through a healing of the soul energy for yourself so that that way you're charged up ready for the summer equinox coming in okay i love you for watching today don't forget to like share and subscribe to videos i offer psychic readings i offer spell ritual work but right now currently no bangful magic um, is being offered at this time we offer um master classes that will change your life on saturdays along with um, diagnostic consultations, counseling sessions, metaphysical supplies on the website with doing ritual work and consultations and readings, okay? So I will see you next time. Have a wonderful Healing of the Soul DIY um, spell that you're doing for yourself and Healing of the Soul, all right? See you next time. Bye-bye.